I want to share a experience that I had when I first started coming to the knowledge of the truth of the Lord Jesus after my grandma had passed away. Um, in the time of her passing, I was I was with a girlfriend. Um, we was shot up together in this apartment. We wasn't married or anything of that sort. Uh, we was living in the flesh, living in sin, and. I was coming to the knowledge of the truth, and Jesus, uh, the Lord, was dealing with me, and um, so I knew that I had to get away from her, that I had to break things off in order to follow Jesus, in order to be obedient to Jesus, so that's what I'd done. I told her to go back to her mom's house or somewhere where she can have room to concentrate on God, get her heart right with Jesus, and I was in the process of doing the same thing. And uh, she couldn't understand that the Lord was dealing with me, that he was speaking to me, that he was convicting me of all my sins. She couldn't understand that because she was living according to the flesh and she wasn't getting convicted for any of her sins or anything. So I had to break things off with her. And so that's what I'd done. And I was still in, in the apartment. But across the hall, uh, there was smoking and selling weed and people being loud downstairs and getting drunk and I used to be a big weed smoker and um, pot smoker and drunkard and just used to live a simple lifestyle so I could feel all the evil around me I, I could feel demons and evil and evil presence and the powers of darkness so I had to get out of there and my mother and my stepdad um, you know, they're both born again Christians, and, you know, they follow Jesus, and I know my mother hears from Jesus, and she said things that are going to happen, and they happened. She's had dreams of things that's going to happen, and they happened. And the Lord speaks to me as well. He, tell, uh, he tells me things, and he shares things with me. But anyhow, they had a two-bedroom house. It was just them and my little sister Mary, which is that's all they needed. And uh, they had a garage, and they offered me their garage as a bedroom. So I denied myself. I gave up my apartment. And I moved into their garage to be in fellowship with them, to build one another up, to help them, or have them help build me up in the Lord Jesus. So that's what I'd done. So I broke off my past, uh, my past lover, my past girlfriend of the flesh that was only going to damn my soul if I remained there because she didn't want nothing to do with the truth of Jesus. So I hope that that can help somebody. And I want to read to you some scriptures that really stood out to me on this matter. And the first one is in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. And it says, well, Paul wrote, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So I knew since I was in Christ Jesus, all things was going to become new. If I wasn't going to follow after Jesus, then I wouldn't have made that change. Then also going to... Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 of verse 33 and verse 34. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. Awake to righteousness and do not sin. For some do not have the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. As I said, she didn't have an knowledge of God, neither did she want it. And going on to um, uh, Proverbs chapter 26, verse 11 through 12. As a dog returns to his own vomit, so a fool repeats his folly. Do you see a man wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. Now I know 
that some people they start off following Jesus and then they go back to their vomit. They look back to their past or past friends or past affairs, past so called lovers that was only love in the world and not really love in truth, just lust of the flesh perhaps. Um so if you're going to go to Jesus, you need to go with him all the way. You can't go back and forth. Lot's wife turned into a pillar of salt for looking back. And going on to um, Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 9 through 10. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind, even to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his doings. So, I just hope that this can help somebody. That you're staying, growing in Jesus, that you're not going back and forth. That's just a double-minded man, or woman, or person, unstable in all their ways. So, if you're going to follow Jesus... You need to be that new creature, a new creation in Christ Jesus. You need to be about your father's business and quit holding on to the world. Your past, it was in the world. I hope this message can help somebody. May the truth of God be with you.